That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Queen of Karma, Beth here from Ottawa, Richmond County, on 11-7-2023, on our globe Earth. And I am here to react to good old CC Chris from New York, Westchester County, on our flat Earth. He's a little bit disappointed in us today, us globe Earthers, and he wants to show us that Venus is also shaped like a globe. So without Without further ado, I'll roll my intro and we'll get right into our favorite flat earther cringe. She had no children, only dogs. And if you see her in your dreams, be sure you never, ever scream. Okay. Yo. Oh, whoa. There it is. Yeah, and what shape is it, Cece? What shape is it? Okay, we're zooming out again. Back in, okay. Why are you so mad all the time? Okay, CC. Um, I wish you knew I learned. I wish you learned how to use this camera better, honestly. What are we doing? Yeah, okay. There it is. Good old Venus. Shaped as a globe. Oh, we're zooming out again. One more time. Okay. What am I looking for? Am I supposed to say that this looks like CGI, CC? I think he just wants to use his camera. Is that a fart? What was that noise? Did you tooties? So, CZ, why would every single thing in the universe be flat that's a planet except for Earth and allegedly Venus? Or are you saying that Venus is a CGI? You don't really explain it in this video, so I'm gonna assume that you want to say it's a CGI and that you didn't just make yourself look dumb proving that the shape of everything in the universe is a globe. Anyway, let's get on to the video in which he says he's very, very disappointed in all of us. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's uh, 1025-23. Mm-hmm. Um, as usual, I'm extremely disappointed with the um, Wall Earthers who still haven't done any of their 
research. I am so sorry to disappoint you, CC. No, I'm not, actually. I'm not sorry at all. I, I've done my research. I listen to you every single time that you do a video. And I still think the Earth is a glow. Maybe it's you that's actually failed by not spreading the truth well enough. Did you ever think of that? really does disappoint me uh-huh because um, they just seem to be clueless to the world i was doing some uh article reading today oh i love to sometimes keep up with the articles that are from space and other things mm -hmm. um they now say that we're in a solar system bubble <laughs> yeah yeah I, I guess the whole universe is in a bubble right that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, nonsense. That they just spew out to reinforce space. Because <laughs> they can't do anything. You, you're not going anywhere. You'll never land anywhere because there's nowhere to land except here on Earth. Okay, this is confusing to me because CC states that we are inside the flat Earth dome globe, right? That there is this dome over us that the government is controlling in order to make the weather and etc. You would think that if they stated that we were in a bubble that would have helped his theory it's instead though he's like no and i'm mad and this is why he is my favorite flat earther because even when he has an opportunity where he could say look they say we're in a bubble obviously i'm right about the dome he just throws that out the window and decides to just go full speed ahead with his hate for anything they do even if it would help prove his conspiracy theories you gotta love it that's the only place you're landing or crash landing into the ocean that's it is, you're not going is the ocean not on the earth anywhere you never will you will be fed fake pictures of probes oh gosh going around somewhere in arizona or i, I don't know some mysterious island. Well, why should I listen to you if you don't even know and you can't do your research, say they? One that nobody knows about, because there's definitely more land, guys. That's uh -huh. God the Creator. Oh no. He or she, whoever it may be, didn't quite want us to figure this out immediately. Okay. Rest. Enjoy yourself. Start a family. Do whatever is in this because you can't work for nasa or be an astronaut or a scientist if you start a family hellhole that you're in okay i love people like this by the way that are like listen you have a family and therefore you are not supposed to do anything but have a family you're not supposed to have any hobbies you know, how dare you want a career how dare you want anything else when you have a family it's like cc people work and have families all the time every day yeah you'd be surprised what parents can do other than take care of their family cc aren't you telling us this from your damn work truck while you have a family what the hell have fun build things you know uh, okay yeah build things and destroy the earth out and tell you you live on a flat land you got to figure that out yourself <laughs> you can sit there and but according to you hold on according to you we've already figured it out the government has and they're keeping it a secret from us so again this whole speech makes no sense cc you're sitting here and you're saying they weren't gonna tell us about it right away but then in all your past videos you're sitting there saying oh the government's keeping it as a secret from us which one is it talk to somebody about flat earth but you've got to figure it out yourself you the ball earthers i'm talking to right now have to figure out how to take apart listen unless you come up with the exact same result that i did that the earth is a fucking flat disc you are stupid you're not thinking and you're not figuring out the earth all right how dare you live on this earth so stupidly you have to come to the same conclusion as me and be a part of my weird conspiracy theory this ridiculous spinning wet ball and have it crumble down on a table in front of your eyes and then you look at the mess. Okay, CC, why is Venus a circle? Do you, like, do you not, did you not think about this at all? That you created. 
that it could never be put back together again. Okay. No, it can't. Sorry. <laughs> oh, darn. Uh, well, they say a 99% retention level. <laughs> yeah, it is. It sure is. Once you're a flat earther, that's it. You're done. There's I mean, he's not lying. Once you're a flat earther, that's it, you're done. You have fallen down the conspiracy theory rabbit hole. You are in so deep that we will probably never be able to pull you out of it. Be careful using your 5G and say hello to JFK for us. There's no way of piecing it back together. Again, ever. You just can't. It's, there's no way. I mean, you you see everything now with new eyes. Everything. You, know, you see the scum-sucking politicians and, and how they're fucking you and collecting money and being pocket lined oh, oh yeah all of a sudden they are getting paid $120,000 and they buy a mansion in Hawaii couple of mansions oh or they buy a mansion out in New Hampshire and everywhere else hmm and they're only making $120,000 oh sure they sell books they do all this other nonsense and have conferences and people don't have a problem with that and all of a sudden they become multi- millionaires possibly even close to a billion nobody has a problem with that you remember when everybody was afraid when trump was president they, he was going to cause a war yeah you can't have him in charge of nuclear warheads look at his tweets he sounds like an idiot what's going on right now we're in a war <laughs> oh that's great i hope you voted for him because this is what you get when you go out and vote stupidly. This is it. The situation you're in right now. Not well, I mean, to be fair, if you had voted for Clinton, you would all be dead right now. We would probably all be dead. There would have been a nuclear war about four years ago. So we bought ourselves some time. That same bullshit. People who could care less about you. People who want to see you suffer. That's like everybody. All right, if we're, especially me. If we're talking about me, the whole world hates me and wants to see me suffer. But that's like everybody. To see, like, do you think that the government actually cares about the people? I thought that that was your whole argument here. Your conspiracy theory is that they don't and they want to play with us and set NBCs up here to lie to us about how the earth is a globe. Hitting the middle class, and that's what the politicians do, who are currently in office right now. Uh -huh. Because they can't, the rich aren't really in trouble right now. You know, it's just the middle class, you know, the upper middle class too. You know, those are the people that they hate. They hate those people. Okay. Okay. And uh, they're showing how much they hate us, shall we say. If you're rich, good. Go in your jet, go up into the sky, and show yourself that the earth is flat. But you're going to get chaperoned. Remember that. Is only Who's, is, what, if I go into a spaceship right now and I go to fly up into space, is there going to be like a government NASA spaceship following me to tell me that the earth is fucking a globe? Like, come on. There's certain places you can fly. Yeah. We've never seen a flight go from the south. Just car go completely over Antarctica. No, flights can't do that. Oh, well, you would think they should be able to, but they can't. Yeah, CZ doesn't understand, like, needing fuel to travel and the fact that they only have so big of an engine, and therefore they could only travel so far, like, going straight without stopping. Otherwise, they, they kind of have to make a stop like you would in a vehicle at, like, almost like a gas station. They need to stop and they need to get more fuel. He, he just doesn't understand that. No, that's a no-fly zone. To no fly zone. Right. Why? Why is that? It's a fucking joke, guys. You know, it really is. It's so obvious. You know, with a treaty being signed, with cutting off everybody to going to certain areas. <laughs> you can go anywhere else you want. But there's certain areas you can't go. You can't go to the North Pole. Yeah, because it's dangerous. It's dangerous to go there. You 
could not survive there. Therefore, they say, maybe you shouldn't go. But do you know what, CC? Why don't you take that truck you're in right there? Your little work van. You know, since allegedly you're the only one that can have a job and a family at the same time. And you drive right now to the North Pole. Why can't you just drive there, CC? A, obviously you're a part of the conspiracy theory since you won't just drive to the North Pole as is right now and go and prove us wrong. A, how come you're not driving there? Do you see how dumb you sound? Can't go investigate the mountain. Okay, the mountain. The Black Mountain, the tower. Uh -huh. That's what's creating the North Star up there. Oh my God. All right. That's what that is up there. That is right above the North Pole. Okay. All right. And probably projecting everything else too. God knows. We don't know. We can't go. Everything is now being controlled by the tower and the North Star. You are losing your fucking mind. You're switching theories like crazy the last few videos. There. Okay. You can't go to Antarctica and go walk around and investigate shit. No, you... because it's all too cold for you to go there and then walk around and investigate shit. No, you can't just go do it. It has nothing to do with a conspiracy theory. You had a jet or you had the resources of going down there. And you had a battleship with all sorts of food and all that shit stored. They wouldn't allow you to go there. They'd blow your ship up. They wouldn't blow you up, but they would be like, we highly, highly recommend you don't go on with this mission. It's dangerous. And it's not a government mission, so nobody is, like, keeping track of you as you go in there. Like, they would if they sent one of their people in there. Do you know what I mean? There's no radio connection going on. So they can't help keep track of that person if they venture out. How is that hard for you to understand? Is it too hard for you to understand, or do you just not want to? There's a difference. He's so Let's defeated. Talk about the universe, you know. I'm yeah. actually starting to think, CC, that maybe you shouldn't talk about the universe anymore. The ever-expanding universe. One scientist came out and said that he believes that the the universe is just expanding infinitely into nowhere. Okay. All right. You see, the thing I don't understand. I'm gonna have to cut this short. God. All right. I thank you for subbing, I thank you for viewing my videos, and uh, let me be a part of your life. So, oh, I guess we just never get to find out what that thought was. Just like, allegedly, we never get to travel down to Antarctica to find out that the Earth is flat. What a shame. The best part about CC is that he believes his videos to be truth-seeking videos. Videos that speak the truth and that are educational about the flat Earth. But he, he's, he's not ever professional, despite doing these from a work van and then having to cut it short because his work needs him and getting upset, you know? So there you have it. CC has found out that Venus is also shaped like a globe. That's what I'm talking about. And he has let us know that he is very disappointed in all of the globe earthers for not doing their research into the shape of the earth and coming to the same conclusion as him that the earth is flat and that the government's lying to us about everything and that everyone is an NPC. Let me know what you think about all of this down below. And are you worried about CC? I'm a little worried about him. He keeps changing his theories and he seems to be getting a lot angrier at the world lately. But I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't excited to see where this story led us. So please do give this video a like and leave a comment down below telling me that the Earth is the shape of a globe if you made it to the end. And no matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care, and I'm gonna see you all very, very soon with another one on our globe Earth. Mwah! Bye! Women are from Mars. Men are from Jupiter. CC keeps making these videos and Sounding stupider. That's what I'm talking about.